Hello everyone, this is Andrew Perkowski checking in again from the fish room. Today's video is going to be about my Xenotoka melanosoma. These guys are also known by the common name, the black split fin, as the specific epithet literally means black body. There's one that's kind of dark right there. The males will get darker than the females. This fish is omnivorous, so they'll pretty much eat whatever, although I have noticed that mine prefer the animal-based proteins. They don't really seem to pick on too much of the algae. This tank is unheated, also. I do have a really nice male over here with a nice deep body. I think he's incredible. Also that really large female. I want to give a special thanks to my friend Chris Neal of the Freshwater Fish Preservation Aquarius team. I just had a pair of these guys that I had also received from a friend and from him I actually received another seven or eight fish and they're all doing really well in here. The Freshwater Fish Preservation Aquarius team is actually a Facebook group that we have, um, hoping to put different hobbyists in contact with other people that have the same interests. <clears throat> Mainly just trying to get these creatures into more tanks so that there can be more breeding and more of the fish in the world. Preservation for future generations. As you can see, these guys are pretty active. Um, interestingly enough, they are classified together in the same genus as the, the Xenotoga eisenai and the Doadroi. When these guys were first described back in 1972 by Fitzsimmons, he had actually been doing um, different experiments to see what, um, what types of crosses would produce fertile offspring. And at the time, which was well before Eyes and I was reclassified into three distinct species, they had actually produced fertile offspring. This is a female right here. Fertile offspring with a, the Eyes and I cross, which basically confirms their, their proximity and uh, relationships in terms of cladistics. I have a really large female right here. She is so big, so much bigger. There's another younger female right there. As with, um, as with a lot of the other Gideons, oh my gosh, I can't even keep them focused. They move, they move way too much. Uh, really difficult to get an actual photograph of them. But as with a lot of the other Gideons, the females, their anal fin will just have that fan, whereas the males will have a defined notch. You can see it on the big male right there when he slows down a little bit. So I really like this tank. Nothing too special, just have some Anubius that's tied down and currently floating a whole bunch of guppy grass. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get some breeding and the fry can rest in there. I've been having a lot of luck with breeding gadeids in tanks where I have floating plants. So basically going to try and mimic that in other setups where I haven't gotten breeding yet. And while I have had these fish for a little while, oh there's a, the male is very dark. This little young one over here. Nice. In the description that Fitzsimmons gave about the species, it actually um, it describes the black as a different look than um, depending on what background you're showing it against. So I was thinking I wanted them to look a little bit darker, so I would put them in uh, a darker water setup. But like I said, a very active fish. 
Not something you see very often in the hobby. My friend Chris, that I got these fish from, is basically the only one that I know of that was that was trying to breed them. He said it was cool if I called him the Melanosoma guy, which I think is super cool. So once again, I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, hit like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to post more updates in the future. And hopefully it won't be too long before we find fry in this tank. Apologize for the glare. <clears throat> you can see some of the other tanks just across the way. So in the meantime, we'll say have a wonderful week from the Melanosoma tank. Beautiful.